But yes, we've been seeing this. We've been seeing false uh, test results as well. And things coming from labs that we do not approve. And our team at the airport, they're very vigilant. And they have, we have, they, they have um, demanded that persons come in, in with, either with vaccine certificates or with test results that we do not recognize that they be tested and go through the normal procedures at the airport. So we know that this is an issue, but we are trusting our team at the airport to continue to do the very vigilant job that they're doing. Visitors will come because if they don't, then that's another set of problems that we don't want to see or to have because we've experienced that before. We are doing everything possible at our ports of entry and also by the COVID unit going around and doing what they have to do. Knock on wood, we've not seen any cases in restaurants and that sort of thing that people would want to identify with. And to be honest with you, before the week is out, we will give the exact figures, but the vast majority of the cases that we have, right here in Barbados, right here in Barbados, COVID has been in Barbados for a long time, and COVID has not left the country. What has changed in Barbados is the how people respond and react to the protocols. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. We have had cases now in several schools, primary and secondary, public as well as private. But there had been no real spread in our schools. The students in the schools are not getting COVID at school. It's when they leave school. And why? It's because the protocols within the school setting are there and they're followed. And that goes for a lot of other places. If we do the right things, we will contain or eliminate the spread of the virus. But yes, we as Ministry of Health, we have a responsibility also in relation to visitors. And that's why the protocols in Barbados, irrespective of where you come from, if mask wearing is not mandatory or not even encouraged in your country, it is in Barbados. And you will follow the protocols that we have here in Barbados. We've done things to improve in relation to quarantining of persons. There's still a few areas of concern which we discussed even up to this morning and we are going to be having a meeting with the Ministry of Tourism and the folks at the airport to be able to do some things in order to address those issues. We have to go about and do sensitization training with taxi drivers and with everyone else who's involved in this effort because we want everyone to be sharp and to be vigilant and to be aware.